Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington, and I'm an occupational therapist. Welcome to this edition of Occupational Therapy Insights. On Tuesday, February 14, 2018, at least 17 people were killed after a 19-year-old student opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. This makes this the eighth shooting at U.S. schools that have resulted in either injury or death within the first seven weeks of 2018. Now stories like this is always heartbreaking. So as occupational therapists, how can we intervene? How can we help remedy what is almost seemingly becoming a normal occurrence? We are aptly educated, trained, and are endowed with expertise in mental health. Our grasp of mental health can rival those in other professions, and it is paramount that we use it in school settings. In many cases, the school team may be unaware of our mental health background. I encourage you OTs, for those of you in school settings, if you have not already, let the team know of your full scope of practice. Your participation in the mental well-being of students could be the catalyst to hinder school tragedy and ultimately save lives. Now, here are just a few ways occupational therapists can support students and the school team in regards to student mental health. First, we can work with teachers to create group projects that can bridge academics and students' needs for social-emotional growth. We can also design a quiet area within a classroom that may include alternative seating to calm and organize the student who is prone to emotional outburst. We can also organize a lunchroom or playground buddy group to promote social skill development and to build peer relationships. We can also facilitate the development of social skills and meaningful activities for at-risk students via therapeutic games, group work, and exploration of hobbies. Another thing we can do is recommend schedule modifications to reduce stress or anxiety. Now with this, you could allow for additional opportunities for creative expression or more physical activity. We can also conduct screenings or assessments to specifically help in the development of behavioral uh, intervention plans. We can also develop a meaningful functional activity for greater self-efficacy and social participation. Now, those are just a few ideas and there's so many ways OT can foster good mental health for students. Again, I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington. Thank you for joining me. We'll be seeing you next time. Take care.